Yeah, blue is breeze. Blue is breeze. Um, and he's uh he's trying to do a speed run of uh to rank number one with Dutch. Um, he was playing last week on this account, so he's not there yet. So we'll see how long it takes him. But on this map, I think this is this is one of the European maps. This is is it like Latvia or something? Is it Latvia? I might be completely wrong. Everyone has a brain. The people aren't so dumb. Uh, uh, you'd, you'd be surprised, Proc. Uh, you'd be surprised by how gullible people are. Believe you'd be. Uh, that's it, Lithuania. What did I say? See, I'm. I'm. I told you, I'm stupid. Latvia, I said. Oh, I knew it was an L. I knew it was an L. That's why. <laughs> Ungazervia. <laughs> I heard uh, Lithuania um, are, are quite big on that G fuel. I heard it's in the water. All right, let's have a look at this game. So we wanted to watch this game because he's going up against Chef Nudist. He's not called Chef Nudist. I, I can't call. I can't say Chef Nudist every time. It's either Chef or Chef Nudist. For the banter, a little bit of banter. Hello. Okay, he's found his envoy. He's going to put that big boy in melee mode, and he's going to... Come here, boy. He's going to be scratching those impeccable clothes that the Envoy has. The Envoy probably has the most swag of any character in this game. Look at this guy. I mean, he couldn't jog any slower if he tried. This guy's thirsty as fuck. 45 XP is going to be picked up for blue. So look at the deck. Okay. Potentially an industrial deck. Looks like he's missing a card or two from age two and three, and he's put them into age four. So we do have the seven Reuters. 17 Reuters is a good card. Two heavy cannons. And then he's got the boomy cards here. Only the Bank of Rotterdam. No Amsterdam. Could play it out on H3, though, as well. Is a Fort Enjoyer. No Irish Briggs or anything like that. Does have bosses. So pretty standard with the potential going industrial, which might be an option here versus Chef because his ports are just, you know, very standard, very boring. I shouldn't say someone's boring whilst I'm casting, but I just can't help it. Let's have a look at his deck. And once again, we see the team deck that is Chef Nudist. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Imagine being able to get away. Imagine being able to get away with this in a, in a 1v1 game. He's able to get away with having no military cards in H2. Four eco slash military cards, uh, up cards, upgrade cards. He's got Cigar Roller. He's got Sustainable Agriculture, Advanced Arsenal, and Gunpowder Infantry. And he's got Economic Theory. All of these five cards without having to worry about any military cards whatsoever. Because he's going to 10-10. Okay, no, he's going to 12-10. Oh, no, he, he, sorry, he has 10-10s. Uh, yeah, he's going for the uh, training post. So Chef Nudis is going all out, baby. He's going all out with the 10-10. He is pulling no punches this game. And I honestly believe that this build, I believe the port 1010 is S tier. I believe like that is up there with Inca It's up there with Germany, USA. It's just insane. Fatoris has been shipped. He's up before four minutes, but he's not. Okay. I was just about to say, what is that 700 word? Almost a mistake there, but he realized his mistake. And now he's going for 700 coin. Um, also, on top of all of this, he has refrigeration. He's got order of EVs, gunpowder infantry. He barely, he barely has any military. Look, he has this entire deck, right? Has four military shipments. One, two, three, and four. Three of them in age three, and one of them is in age four. He's this is how OP ports are. He can get away with having only four military shipments. Four military shipments. The rest are boom cards or upgrade cards. He's playing a team game and he's going to get away with it. God, you're so... God, it's so boring, but I want you to win this game. Olá. 
ages up with the two veils and two cows. So it doesn't even, doesn't even age up with the 500, uh, 500 food. And it looks like um, resource-wise, it's going to pay off perfectly. So, uh, yeah, doing the 10-10. We, so, not <laughs> on top of all of this, being able to click age up at 5 minutes 17 with an extra two veils. It just hurts my brain. It just hurts how OP this is. But I will try. I will try my best not to lame here. Looks like uh, Breeze, is, he's continuing with this logistician build. So he goes for, basically, um, he builds a, a house and a market in transition. He gets hunting dogs. That's it. That is it, though. And then he puts everyone on gold and food. And then basic doesn't doesn't go for bank in transition. It just goes for these things in transition. And then uh, tries to make sure he's able to um, kind of max out um, how it is in skirms. Behind this, um, he ships the bank wagon and 700 wood. But he's not doing that here. Uh, what is he doing here? That's the age up power there. Looks like he's literally going for a fast fortress. Are you are you sure about this? Are you sure about this? This doesn't look very good. I'm not going to lie to you. This, this looks utter dog shit. 700 wood coming in. That's going to pay for a market. More houses. A stable. Deciding to use his uh, TC aggressively. Well, not aggressively, but uh, for greed, for greedily, for more uh, map control as opposed to defensively. Again, that's something Port can do. Nice play here. He's going to use his Explorer to micro um, the Halberdier, which will, which will go down to a, an Explorer. Only one of them. Yeah, it does like 15 damage a piece. So, yeah, <laughs> she's going to be able to get micro here because the Explorer has more speed. That's pretty funny. Gonna be picking up 90 wood here. Chester Dees has aged up and uh, he's aged up. See, this uh, another thing they can get away with. He doesn't need to age up quickly. <laughs> he can age up with skirmishes. Hiya. Okay, so Dutch is aged up and the first thing he's gonna ship is a fork. I'm not going to lie, I'm I'm keeping a keen eye on here because, uh, you know, I'm a full enjoyer myself. But I swear to God, if I have to steal a build from Revnak, I might shoot myself in the dick. Third bank going down. So we've gone for uh, essentially three bills, one bank wagon, 700 wood. He doesn't have a TP. Uh, now he's shipped uh, one fort. Doesn't have a shipment in Cuba. When the fort, that will give him a lot of XP, so... Waste of a barracks here as well. I'm not sure what that was doing. Maybe feigning aggression and kind of bluffing the, the aggro. Spending all fair academy money buying more accounts. <laughs> Um, I think we did establish it was Breeze because um, if you watched, uh, there was a game, I think, versus Shake, and he, he went full Breeze. Like, he might be trying to act like he's not playing Breeze now, but he when, when he realized he wasn't being watched, he played full Breeze. Like, he went industrial. First thing he makes is horse artillery and walls and then used gates to act as, uh, guys, it's 100%. It's 100% Breeze. Like it's not even it's not even discussion. Like don't watch this game and think, oh, this is this you, you're basing the decision on Breeze. Like if you've watched other streams I did, like it's very obvious it is. Anyways, and and the Arabic is just a complete like to try and throw you off. Like it's so obvious it's bad. It's so obvious it's bad. Okay, so it looks like we're probably trying to get some industrial play here. Um, I mean, he's got to Fortress at a decent time with a four out now, and he's on four banks. So that's pretty good. I kind of like the Halberdier, the Logistician Age as well, because the Halberdier has the uh, the same value like a Samurai has when you do the, the fast Age Up with Japan. You get that Samurai out really quickly, and it kind of denies any rush against you. So that Halberdier is, is kind of used for the same purpose here. Um, so if there's any fast, uh, forward bases, you can use the halberdier, which will kill villagers very, very quickly. So it's quite, it's quite a, uh, a clever build in that perspective. 
from that perspective. But it's obviously not a great boom build. But, I mean, he's on four banks. He's on four banks, Fortress, and he's almost in, going up to Industrial. It is 10 minutes. It's not bad at the moment. It's not bad. Let's have a look at Chef, see what he's doing. Um, so he's already on 37 villagers, because, of course, already on 37 villagers, is able to get away with shipping 1K wood, 1K coin, because he can have both of them in his deck, because why fucking not? <gasps> oh, my God, this sieve is so fucking OP. Already on the same score as Dutch. And if Port's on the same score as you, you you're going to get four. Oh, 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 oh. Sorry, got carried away there. 1K coin coming in. And he's going to be able to go to industrial on 40 vils, probably faster than Dutch. With more infrastructure. With free TC and Fatorius. I mean, you can't you can't judge him on his decision making because it's good. This guy has good decision making. He has good micro. But my God, like, take this sieve away from him. He'll be he'll be minus one hundred elo. Guaranteed. I will pay him. I will pay him if he can hold on to this elo for a month with without this sieve. I'll pay him. I'll give no, I'll tell you what, I'll give him free DLC. I will I will give him the, the free next DLC. Anyways, anyways, enough of me like choking on a metaphorical cock because of how OP the civilization is. Dutch is an industrial. Oh, nice, nice catch there. Gonna, he wanted the house of Jagellion, and I'm not sure why. Maybe for the, maybe for that, the, I don't know. Maybe the big burn? There must have been something in there that he wanted. But he's not going to get it. 24 Reuters. Looks like he might have shipped the, has he shipped, uh, sorry, let's have a look back at it. He hasn't shipped 17 Reuters. So he's, uh, he's gone for factories. See, I like this build by Dutch. This is a good build, but you, you just can't do this versus, versus Portugal. It just doesn't, I, I can't see this working versus Portugal, but we'll see. We'll see. He's gonna catch a few goons there, which is nice. Again, chef aging up with coin. So he's just so much greed. It's just greed after greed after greed. Second factory coming in. For Dutch. He's got a church down, but no church card yet. I mean, maybe there's potential if they can hold off with the fort and uh, get both your factories out, maybe get tulip speculation. Get the uh, get the church banks as well, so you go up to seven uh, seven banks, and then if you can then get into South Africa, then he's got a chance. Then he's definitely got a chance because then he can then he can do the one out booming. But it, it's at that point, it's just how far are you behind? So he's going for how, uh, House of Oldenburg here. I'm not sure what he's doing with all these TPs. Maybe he wants the big buttons. Not really sure. Maybe he wants that one because that would actually be useful here. Uh, like, that's actually useful for both these guys because it's going to be skirm on skirm action, isn't it? No doubt. Both of the factories are on wood. Uh, he's gone for Panzerni there. I'm not really sure what that does. I uh, could go for this as well, which gives you, like, all age-ups that you've done. That would be useful for, for Portugal. That would give him the extra gold and the extra Casadors. I don't think he's he didn't age up fast, so. Uh, and it would give him another two vills, two cows, so. Uh, that would be a really worthwhile investment. Okay, so he's running around with some Reuters. Uh, there goes the artillery foundry. There goes the horse artillery. Classic, 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 classic. He is making some skirmishes as well. I'm not sure why he'd make some skirmishes if you go and just horse artillery. Scores are close though. Scores are pretty close. Two heavy cannons coming out. Oh, 
Well, he's got the text. Clearly, he's got the text that he wanted from that. Okay. All right. Now that's actually a decent. That's a decent mass of skirms. Port's actually down in score. I'm not sure how. These two, uh, these two factories really putting in some work in the score department. If we take a look over at Chef Nudiste. The oh, shipping refrigeration. Lad. He's shipping refrigeration instead of two heavy cannons. Who does that? Who does that? Chef Nudiste does it because he's Portugal. He's on 69 villagers. Nice. He is making some cauldrons, which is exactly what he needs. No guard text for any units yet. Bounce shot, bounce shot. Ah, oh, he pussied out. Should see this uh, training post getting rebuilt, though. He does. So as long as Chef, as long as Chef continues to make lots of culverins, he should be okay. But obviously Dutch, lots of gold here. Lots of wood from the factories as well. Both factories in for Chef Nadis as well. There's one, there's two. Both on wood for him. Mills having to go down now. That's probably why he went for the refrigeration. So much food in the middle, but obviously this is a no man's land at the moment. It's like playing, um, it's like playing real life World War One. You got trenches on either side here, and this is no man's land in the middle, uh, and rightly so at the moment. Rightly so at the moment. Revnak trying to find some stuff. Team gunpowder infantry coming in. Finally has some guard units. Guard Casador, only veteran dragoon though. Four villager pumping at a time. Holy moly. The, the, the guy's just playing like... He's just playing a team game, man. At least there's no walls yet. That's a bonus. Just still just the five banks so far. Chef starting to put away and score. Oh, there's a little bit of a bounce back there. Oh, my God. He obviously heard me. Hiya. Still making pillarless walls as well. <sighs> what? Like, come on. Why would you? Like, there's no, there is literally no point in making pillarless walls now. Like, we've established that. Uh, that's the skirmisher. Cowl off repeaters. That's for the, um, the skirmishers. So the skirmishers do, let like, 1.1. Uh, so an extra 10% damage versus light infantry. Can make all the difference. It can make all the difference. Claire. So man knows his native text. Even got an arsenal here. Range Caracol. 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 Might get counter infantry riffering as well against the goons. Or does it work against goons? I can't even remember. I know it works against musketeers. Wow. He really wants this trading post. I don't know why he keeps building it. He's already got a tech from it. 40 Vils, so not far off uh, Max Vils himself. CIR doesn't affect bonus and goons. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know why I said that. It's only Musk, isn't it? Um, so classic heavy, uh, well, not heavy horse guns at the moment, but but classic horse gun, Colvin Royales. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious to me it is Breeze. Honestly, honestly, should be focusing on going for South Africa. Like, there's no, there's no downside, and uh, other than the the, the three thousand resources it costs to actually age up there, there's no downside to going South Africa early. Like, once you've got, as, as long as you got, oh, we got the guard, we got the Legion dragoons coming in. Let's go, baby. Yeah, did a nice job taking the coals, but the Reuters are going to take that coal run as well, uh, which is probably a risk he's prepared to take because there's absolutely nothing left to protect. He's going to lose pretty much all his Reuters though. But has no cab to punish. So many Casadors here. Church card coming in now. I imagine that's for the banks. I guess that's a good card to send as well before. But I mean, you know, this could start to be, you know, he could be revolting. That could be Imperial War Wagons. You know, that could be the, the, the French Vils. It could be the extra two bank wagons, you know, all that sort of stuff that, you know, getting to when you're in this age and you have the fort, right? And you have the fort, prioritizing South Africa has to be 
the get that that has to be the play right um it, you know the people seem to forget that the bonus the bonus of the revolt actually just increases your villagers work rate as well scientific experiments or sorry expeditions um hot air balloon it's going to be called, which is really nice. It sees everything, sees where it is, sees where it needs to go. Arsenal now going down for Chef. Let's have a quick look. Of course he's on 99 bills. He's literally playing, he's playing against the AI on skirmish mode. You know, he plays like this every single game. A classic dock in the lake. If you're still denying this is Breeze now, then you need your head banging. A classic pause. That is the MO of Breeze. Breeze MO right there. The lake. The, the pause. The random pause. The horse guns. The culverins. New Jesus and unpauser anyway. <laughs> um, honestly, don't know who's gonna win this. Yo, Spanky. Thank you forever has gifted a sub to Julian K. Yo, give it to Julian. Julian hiding in there. We see you, Julian. Peekaboo, baby. Thank you very much, Spanky. You legend. Um, I'm not sure why Chef is just. Just so many skirms. That is so many skirms. You do not need that many skirms here. You literally just need to focus on going culverins. That may be the worst estate placement I have seen in a long time. Does anyone know if Chef Nudiste is actually, like, human? Like, seriously, he, he might be AI. He might be an AI script. He is 10k score up though. 10k score. He's got Fatorius with four TCs. He's got 99 Vils. Oh, we got Amsterdamish. I am Amsterdamish. I've got a fun story to tell you about that. So we've got a battleship. They cost, what, 2,000 resources? And uh, he's able to get a battleship, I believe. Um, because he got the, the TP, um, because I don't think he shipped that. So the only way to make it, I think, is because you got a European TP. There it is. Battleship. 2,000 resources. Yep. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Thing was, a uh, jigging out of control there. Town center will go down very quickly if he's not paying attention. And where the, where, where are your... Artillery, bruh, where? Can you make some Colvin Royales, please? Can you make more than one? Like, come on. This battleship just tanks so hard. This, well, I don't know where that plus 2,250 HPs come from. The battleship is such a beautiful unit, though, isn't it? It's such, it's such a, it's such a piece of art. It really is. Look at this beautiful thing. This insane amount of skirmishes. Oh, nice. Winning the artillery war there. Oh no, that poor Roy Howard cheese. He's gonna try and punish it, finish it off with the Reuters, but he's not gonna get there in time. God, this battleship's only got, it's still got half HP left. Chef, please stop attack moving. Please stop attack moving in that scenario. My goodness me. Could have very easily just like drag box like 10 kills there. To be honest with you, the battleship, I mean, the battleship is quite punishing, but you could stand under it. To be honest as well, he could literally just dive his skirmishes and, and just all shoot this at once. Like that would be worthwhile, but he doesn't want to walk into these artillery pieces though. Royales, please. Royales. He's trying to go for cavalry, but he hasn't got enough. 
He has got guard hazards. I'm telling you, boy, it's not enough. He's got another another five coming in. Oh, my goodness me. Just a chunk of, like, five or so. Getting absolutely shredded. Chef, can you not lose this game, please? Like, why are you throwing this game so hard? Just make culverins. Is it, like, is it really that hard? The TC does go down. The battleship's probably going to stay up, I'll be honest. That's a lot of hazards coming in, though. That is a lot of hazards. Okay, he's just standing under this warship, which sounds pretty stupid. The guy's a bot, but can't make royales. Like, he knew he had the, the supreme, like, the supreme skirmisher mass. But he continued to make more skirms anyway. He popped himself, so he only had one Colvin Royale. You know your opponent is making artillery. And now he's making Hazars into Reuters. Some may say that's bad. Still no South Africa revolt. Using that big button really well, though, to be fair. He sees the Hazards, so he knows he needs to focus on Reuters. And you'll instantly see Reuter production right now. Monitor's coming in now as well. Oh, it's going to come in before that fort gets built as well. Finally! Hallelujah! We finally see some Carvins. Finish that goddamn thing off. Reuters coming in, but they're not going to be out. They're going to fall right back. Boom! 200 XP. That was some fireworks going on there, baby. The fort... Oh, it... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That fort was like 95% complete. One whack. Just, just... That hurts. That really, really hurts. I'm not going to lie. Does kill that monitor in one go, though. We've got some Carabinos. We've got some heavy horse guns now. That was what that tech was. No, 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 no. Okay, he can, he, he can be aggressive now with these culverins. He's just got to micro right. He's got to pull trick the culverins back when the Reuters dive in. Nice, nice, nice. Now, this is good play. This is good play now. Oh, yes. I wanted to go down. That's super expensive. That, that's 2,000 for the, the battleship. It's another, what, 800 resources in total uh, times two. It's a lot of resources going down. If he loses another one, that's another 800 resources. He's back up to like 12K score in lead. Someone uh, changed the script on the AI and told him to make some Royale with cheeses. Boom, nice. Another one going. Another one bites the dust. Right, murder these. And yes, perfect timing with the with the cavalry. That's exactly how you play that. Very, very nice. And now the Hazards are going to absolutely cause mayhem because you just completely sacrificed all of your Carabinas. Very, very nice play. The Ribinas go down. Guard Hazards doing work on villagers. Definitely worth killing villagers, even if it's at the, at the detriment of your, your, your Hazards going down. Still lots of skirmishes in play here. You've got to do a little dance when the uh, the sound comes on. 40 villagers, so he did a ten, nice 10. He killed 10 villagers here. Another one, that's 11. Wow, he's literally spamming attack move there. <laughs> Guard is ours. 560 HP, not bad. More monitors. Frigates going down. Proper laming the water here. Wow, look at this. 33 villagers on the move. 17 routers were just shipped just now. Funnily enough, he needs to do a cavalry switch of his own, but he doesn't have the resources right now. Hasn't used these big buttons, the red lancers and blue guards. Has
has seven banks in total. A couple of banks over here. And now I think he's just going to let the tempo swing in his favor. And uh, there's just no way of dealing with these. He needs artillery there. Okay, uh, just as soon as I say that, we see artillery. But some hazards coming in from the sneaky sneaky. Some right beaners should be able to provide some support. But he might take two down. He does. Nice. And yeah, this looks completely over right now. It's 15k, 15k score in front. Nice. Fort doing work. But this fort has been pretty useless the entire game. Not useless because it's kind of giving him map control. Nice. More Royales out. That's definitely the safe option, especially against all this water play. So many resources wasted on the water here. Um, I mean, it was a good job with the uh, the battleship, but getting so many monitors when he didn't, he couldn't hold this side of the map. No South Africa revolt. What a noob. What a noob. Mashing down town centers for some reason. Some lip car tartars now. He's getting real desperate right now. Look at the smile. Look at the smiley face on those guys' hats. They've got smiley faces on their hats. As cute as anything. Smiley face. Look at their smiley faces. I don't think they're upgraded, so they're not going to do much against Guard Hazards. 20k score down now. Revnak is deaded. Yeah, talking about that that battleship that was called Amsterdam. Uh, I remember I've I've been to Amsterdam uh, three times now I think, and uh, I had a friend there who um, every every time he, we're obviously a group of English people and we're taught he was talking to other people who were from Amsterdam and they were asking what language he speaks. <laughs> he kept saying Amsterdamish. <laughs> they were like, what? <laughs> uh huh? Huh? I speak Amsterdamish. <laughs> uh, so as soon as I saw the word Amsterdam, the first thing that came to my head was Amsterdamish. <laughs> oh god, that's why people hate us. Anyways, Bosniaks coming in. Are they gonna? Are they gonna do much though? Could do with some blue guards behind them. I think the blue guards probably should have come from the fort there, but. He might just be able to throw all of this in front. He, honestly, he could. I think he could just throw that in front. Um, and, and these are guard hazards. They're so good. Guard hazards are so good. Uh, these guys will make mincemeat of the blue guards. Their blue guards are not that great. Unless you get a golden boy. Super Saiyan blue guard. 300 HP and 21 hand attack. Not bad. Not bad. But the Bosniaks do go down. And um, once that gets sniped, these are going to be absolutely useless. We've got shit going on absolutely everywhere. Manages to survive. Has 43 villagers, so somehow manages to get his uh, village count up again. Um, bounces back a little bit, so 16k scored. Difference. Red Lancers coming in as well. Red Lancers coming in as well. Okay, okay. I respect it. I respect it. 64 hand attack. Not bad. Not bad. Um, is it going to be enough, though? He needs to kill all of these scams. Then he needs to follow up here. But with the Hazars, the nine Hazars, and another, what, tw 20 or so... Casador's coming in. It kind of could have been a little bit of a comeback, but I think that's going to be all she wrote right there. Um, is he buying for time here? Could go for South Africa revolt, but it might be a little bit too late for South Africa now. Looks like he's going for it. Finally. I mean, better late than never, right? But should have done it a lot sooner. There it is. There's the South Africa revolt. What a noob. Only going to revolt at 34 minutes. Uh, it's funny because uh, Chef Nadis, yeah, I mean, he, he can almost go, he can almost go Imperial. <laughs> like, like, and and uh, even though Eco revolts are good, there's still no match. There's still no match to H5. Okay, we've got a load of sperms here. Um, just wiggling around, trying to find um, the ovaries. Wiggly worms. You just can't catch them. Wiggly worms. Okay, so he's got 16. 
of yeah. them. These guys obviously really good for just purely just for tanking HP. It's just so funny. Um, does have a 1K wood, so yeah, he's gonna build some stables down. So he's gonna want to get the. Uh, he wants he wants a card desperately. He's gonna want to get uh, this card first. Wagon warfare. I don't think it's a little too late at this point. I, he needs like he needs like a mass of 30 Imperial War Wagons right now, and he's just not got it. This doesn't give you any war wagons. It simply allows you to make Imperial. He's used all of his techs on the church. Still has both his factories though. Still has both his factories. Still has seven bank wagons as well. Still has seven bank wagons and two factories producing um, stuff now. The factories are on wood. I'm not really sure why. The factories either go on food now or they go on heavy cannon production. Like, there's no in between right now. Like, what is that wood doing? Why do you need wood? Okay, he's putting... In... Oh, wait. He's putting another bank down? Okay. I didn't realize... Oh, did he ship the um, Amsterdam card? I think he did. Okay, going for another stable. So now that comes in, he's going to be spamming, 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 spamming. There it is. There it is. Um, We have mortars here. Yeah. The factories are going to go down. So. Wow. Putting down four stables. Not really sure why, because he can't produce from four of them. If he revolted earlier, if he ro revolted earlier, could have been very, very different. Could have been very, very different. Now these guys are just playing target practice against the uh, Trek Wagons. <laughs> and there's the Imperial Age. So it doesn't even matter now. Once Imperial units come in, it's just GG. Not every day you get to see Imperial Hazards. Maybe we get to see Imperial Hazards. That would be cool. We're spamming natives now because he's max pop. We're about to see some war wagons pop though. He's got imperial units of his own. Saying, ha ha. Checkmate. The chef's saying, that's okay. I can get more than one imperial unit. Chill, bruh. Imperial Zars is his first one. There it is. Look at these guys. 720 HP, 64 hand attack. Such a beast. Mixing in some northern veteran musketeers. Seven hundred and twenty HP. Lordy, lordy, lordy. And there's the GG. We knew it was coming for a long time. Guys, are good. And there you go. There you go. So. Is Ports a bad sieve? Well, the number one ranked player in the game. Well, have you believe so? And he just got beat by said sieve. On top of that, I beat him with Brits. Another said bad sieve. Hmm. Oh, karma, you beautiful, beautiful lady. Let's have a look at the post scores on that one. Was a little bit rocky for Chef. Was a little bit rocky. Just needed to change the AI script, the bot script. Just build a few more Colvin Royales. That's all he needed. That's all he needed. Thanky Forever has gifted a sub to Mahangpa. Yo, thank you very much, Spanky, again. Giving it to Honga. What a beast. 38 gifts of Spanky, you utter legend. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. Uh, Sambi, is it even Breeze? It is Breeze. It is. Um... 99.999%. Um, we saw him another game, just completely, utterly breeze all over. I mean, he was in the lakes. He was in the lakes spamming uh, boats. He builds lots of walls and gates and and builds um, horse guns. And and yeah, it's 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 breeze. Um, he's been talking about Dutch and wanting to do a Dutch to rank number one recently. So yeah, it, yeah, it's him. It's him. It's him.